Did you know that there is a restaurant bar in Cebu that was put up by British master chef Jason Atherton, who has Michelin star restaurants in London, Shanghai, Singapore, Hong Kong, Dubai? He is married to a Cebuana, Ira, and together they established Pig and Palm in Cebu in 2016. Walking through the restaurant, you get an air of sophistication not seen in local establishments because it was designed by Cebu-born, globally renowned architect Linda Neri, whose company is based in Shanghai. Pig and Palm offers modern European cuisine using local ingredients in tapas-style servings. My friend Arnold Cole treated me to a light but very tasteful dinner. They started us off with an airy, crunchy seaweed flake. Doesn't that look like art? Like some kind of sculpture? And this is served with wasabi dip. Mmm, hands to heaven. This was followed by another piece of art, trout ceviche. But don't get intimidated, it's just a more elevated kiloin. Hi sir, this is your Korean fried chicken with kimchi ketchup. Did you get that? Mm. Korean fried chicken with kimchi ketchup. Mm. Oh, skewed. Here's the garlic prawns with mm. squid ink aioli on the side. The squid ink aioli really made this dish divine. Here's the linguine nero with chorizo on the side. This was certainly a dining experience for the census, and we had to pay our compliments to the chef. The resident chef assigned here by Chef Jason Atherton is a fellow Brit, Chef Jamie Dole. Hi there. I asked him, why pig and palm? So it's called the Pig and Palm because it's kind of taken from the old English pub oh, style. So like the dog and duck or the fox and hound. Got so it. it was based on the pig for the local Cebuano delicacy of pig and the palm for the palm trees. It was that simple. Does the cuisine, I mean the menu, uh, re reflect that? Do you use a lot of Filipino um yes I I've tried to use a lot more local ingredients recently um, because of all everything that's going on in the world so it's kind of it's been a catalyst to even you know use them even more um, but yeah we have a lot of pork based dishes um, and then we have quite a nice selection of seafood vegetarian vegan pretty much anything like we can do. So what kind of a restaurant is it? What, what is it Western? Is it... So we like to say modern European. So tapas style, but you know, the, we've got a quite a wide range of dishes um, from small plates to slightly larger ones. And the idea is to order a, a number of different dishes, put them in the middle of the table and then share them, share them with your friends. So. Yeah, very light. Everything was light and savory. So, four years, did you mention? It's yeah, it's four years yesterday I've been here. Wow. So, how is life in Cebu? Good. Really good. What um, do you like about the place? I love the fact that we're in this we're in this city now, but we're in, within a couple of hours, you can be in the most beautiful place in the world, you know, in any of these islands. Um, I just think it's fantastic. So, I've already really good quality of life. Do we expect a branch in Manila? Why Cebu? Why Cebu? Because Jason's uh, wife, Irha, is uh, Cebuana, so this was kind of his his uh, gift to her, opening a restaurant here. Um, Manila, never say never. <laughs> we will be waiting. No problem. Thanks, Jane. Thank you. I really enjoyed the dinner here at Pig and Palm. If you're in Cebu, you can't miss this.